Hey, True Believers, Anglin Teen here, and have a little bit of news for you. Erica Henderson is leaving Squirrel Girl. Yes, the Eisner Award winning and Gabby Award winning artist of Squirrel Girl is gone, baby gone. And basically, we had nothing to do with it. Yeah, I know some people see this as the cherry on top of the Heather Antos Sunday of her leaving Marvel yesterday, but just like Heather Antos leaving, we had nothing to do with it. Hashtag Comicsgate was a non-person involved in either of these two people leaving. Heather Antos saw greener pastures, she took off. Now, I can't exactly say this is greener pastures for Erica Henderson because she's going to creator-owned work, but at least it's she goes to, she gets to go play with her own toys instead of somebody else's, which she even marks as uh, something she's going to miss is some you know being able to play in the Marvel sandbox. And I can understand that if you grow up being a fan of certain characters, you want to draw them, even if it is drawing them in the way that she has. What kills me is she's not a bad artist. I've seen her draw in other places where it's like, dude, you could draw. Why are you doing it like this? It's it's just uh, unnerving. Anyway, I found this out as I, I, I saw some tweets from her. One of them says, hey guys, it's officially official. The issue of Squirrel Girl I'm drawing right now is my last. Writing this now to get ahead of the rumor mill. And then she has FAQ. One, I left the I left of my own accord to pursue creator-owned work. Two, the book is not over. And three, I'll still be doing covers. So at least the outside of the comics will always look ugly. The, those are my words, not hers. I doubt she would say that about her own work. But, you know, I had to put my two cents in. It's what I do here. It's kind of kind of the whole thing now here's an interesting thing to think about while we had no influence on the two uh, Heather Antos or Erica Henderson leaving here we have a unique opportunity to see if we were right now in the Gabby Awards she was nominated more than and voted for more than anybody else for worst artist we have claimed left right up and down that sales on this book would include would include improve, excuse me, if they had a better artist, if they created a cute squirrel girl rather than whatever it is Erica Henderson was trying to draw here. And here's the thing, our opinions, not that we need it to be, but they could be validated if sales go up when a new artist is brought on. That is also if the new artist decides to draw a cute squirrel girl rather than whatever the heck this is. But we'll find out. Now, if sales go down, or if sales stay the same, that means all this time we were wrong about Squirrel Girl needing a better artist. It could just be it's got this... It is it is it's a cult classic. It's a cult book, not necessarily classic. But it's obviously not a hit. And they're saying it sold... It sells well scholastically and uh, on digital. And in all honesty, I saw it two times in the top 40... Uh, when it when it was released digitally anyway never in the top 20 of floppies but once again it's a unique uh, it's a unique opportunity for us to see if our opinion and our uh, the what we've been saying about it uh, is correct now let's uh, take a look at that other tweet she sent it's been a great three years but three years is a long time and I'd like to be able to branch out at this point I'll miss my amazing team, and I'll miss being able to play in that Marvel sandbox, but the future awaits. P.S. Not announcing new projects yet. Okay, and it sounds like, you know, right here, like I said, she just wants to play with her own toys, and that's completely understandable. I can understand, you know, I mean, if you're an artist, maybe you want to draw your own superheroes, then write others, you know? And I could see both sides. I remember, I, I think it was Peter David said he was just fine writing the Hulk and all that kind of stuff, and if you're a big fan, you want to do that by all means. You know, I, I could see both ways. You know, if you're a longtime comic book fan and you've just loved the Batman and you got the Batman gig, hey, you want to hold on to it for as long as uh, as you're feeling creatively satisfied. So if she wants to, I, I, you know, I wish her well. And I really do hope that we see that art that we saw where we're all like, oh my gosh, Erica Henderson can draw. If it's like that, gosh, I, you know, I wish her success. I really do. And I'm very interested to see what happens with Squirrel Girl from here on in. 
But that's just my opinion. What is yours? What do you think about Erica Henderson leaving Squirrel Girl? Does this change? I mean, a Squirrel Girl. Do you really read Squirrel Girl for anything other than make fun of the art at this point? Or, uh, I mean, as far as going over, if she does use regular art, would you support her? Or will you still say, oh, but in Squirrel Girl, she made her look ugly, so I hate her. Oy vey. Uh, you know, let me know what you think. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, you want to see more, click like, click share, and subscribe. Even if you think you're subscribed, make sure that you are because YouTube's been messing that up as well as notifications. So make sure that bell's rung so you don't miss anything because cool things happen around these parts. And don't forget to go on over to Patreon. Drop a dollar in the till. Helps keep the lights on and help us keep making videos for if you don't mind helping the channel out. We do have tier rewards, of course, just like every other Patreon, but also we do a graphic novel giveaway. Last month, Nerdrotic Channel won a Batman Illustrated by Neil Adams Volume 2. This month is winner's pick. So whoever is chosen, whatever name is drawn out of the hat, gets to pick whatever graphic novel uh, they see here that they would like. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'd like to thank everybody who's already chipped in and to everyone all of the true believers thank you very very much for watching